A single dominant male rules in chimp communities. Other males compete for influence and challenge the leadership. Jambo has just ousted Jing as group leader. Body language confirms the situation is now stable. The group, for the time being, looks to Jambo to assure its safety. While Jing broods alone on his fate. The onus now falls on Jambo to strengthen his authority by inspiring confidence rather than fear. He must be a father figure, not a tyrant. The leader's stature depends on healthy social bonds. As long as he guarantees their security, they will guarantee his. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Like humans, evolution blessed chimpanzees with logical thought. They can consider the future and calculate the odds. All good political tools. Watch a simple experiment and see how the chimp masters political trickery. Jambo may have restored harmony, but the group is only the sum of its parts. Individuals, like this female, have their own interests at heart. She knows where an orange has been hidden. If she's not careful, she'll be forced to share. In the words of the 19th century French statesman, Prince de Talleyrand, a court is merely an assembly of noble and distinguished beggars. The trick is to wait for the right moment. Time to act. Patience and careful planning are rewarded. But there were two oranges. Another chimp is wise to it. He too considers all the angles, calculating the odds and assessing the stage before acting. Individuals put on their best behaviour at the leader's table. Jambo feels compelled to flaunt his share because food is a perennial source of conflict and frustration. He wants to set a good example. A good leader is a servant to his people, and Jambo understands the importance of sharing. This can only enhance Jambo's stature in the group and build up credit for his future as leader. But old scores remain to be settled. The former dominant male, Jing, returns to square up with Jambo, and onlookers better make themselves scarce. Jambo must find a way to save face in front of the group and deal with Jing once and for all. At this point, the role of females in restoring peace to the group emerges. A female leads Jing towards Jambo. Jambo acknowledges the female, showing he's boss. He ends up paying her homage in the best way he knows. 
Sexual foreplay, not on your life. Political foreplay. The female has served as pretext for Jing to sneak up on Jambo without making uncomfortable eye contact. Calculating female mediation works wonders. Jambo, like every good leader, sets an example by smoothing over any remaining differences. Everyone hopes this is the last chapter in this very male feud. If female chimpanzees are skilled in managing conflict, often they become the butt of it. Jambo's desire is her command. Other males either put up or shut up. The leader enjoys a complete monopoly on any female in heat. Jambo's dalliances carry great political weight. His genes must come first. So how do you get a look in if you're not the boss? Any overt attempt at reproduction in front of the dominant male is asking for trouble. It was a brave effort, but none too subtle. For Zuli, secret rendezvous are the only answer. He assumes that what Jambo doesn't see, he won't know. But Jambo has cultivated allies, spies. Zuli has sown the seeds of more trouble. Joeri sets out to betray Zuli. Jambo acts quickly. He must. An ill wind blows through the community. Zuli comes out of hiding and raises the stakes. He imposes himself on the group, pressing home the treachery in the hope of winning allies to confront Jambo. But Zuli's bravado fails to impress. It's a major miscalculation. And he knows it. Collective indifference to Zuli only adds salt to his wounds. He vents his frustration on the females, easy targets for him to show off his strength. The eldest female, Mama, bears the brunt of Zuli's rage. That only brings our young, impulsive chimp further into disrepute. Mama moves to Jambo's side, a poignantly symbolic gesture. In the end, Zuli's capitulation is so complete, Jambo's inaction speaks volumes. The last thing Jambo wants now is to reignite the conflict. Their stability is paramount. The moment of truth. Jambo hardly bats an eyebrow. If Zuli wants back in, that's up to him. Zuli's tough political rites of passage is complete. It's one which he won't easily forget. For Jambo, magnanimity and victory will keep them on his side for now at least. A week is a long time in politics. 
So, what has Zuli learned? Where did he go so wrong? He failed to build allies, cultivate political bonds before making a bid for power. If Zuli learns these lessons, his day will surely come. <laughs>